can you live a single life in the Philippines? The answer to that is yes. From a Miktai point of view, uh, one of the things I do like about the Philippines is, although you can own land, um, it's not difficult to rent land and stuff like that. Um, so if you want to do farming and stuff, it's not difficult to do in the Philippines. That's what I like about some of the stuff in the Philippines. You can pot around doing stuff. You could be doing man stuff, you know, just bimbling around doing things that suits yourself. You can do your um, aquaponics, hydroponics, whatever, and people will actually take an interest in, be interested in doing it with you. I find in, like for example, the UK, you may actually get neighbours complaining about the noise from the water pump or something, even though it doesn't make any noise. Um, but that's the difference. In the Philippines, a lot of time, you can be left alone even with other people, <laughs> in the sense they'll actually support it, regardless of what it is. Now, somebody else asked me about relationships, if they could have a relationship without getting married. There's a lot of guys I know that aren't married. Um, they're in relationships, been in long-term relationships, some of them have got kids as well. Um, all they, all you've got to understand is a lot of women, it's down to communication at day one. If you get it out in the open at day one, you will find that they either walk away or they stay. And I've mentioned before, and some some people who were friends were talking about the the old guy uh, texting these young girls. Well, these young girls, and I do say young because they were eighteen and nineteen year olds. Um, they they are looking for relationships. Where this guy is just looking to engage in sexual things and not see them again. That's why you've seen multiple in the same day. Now, if a guy is whatever age and the, the girl's 25 plus, for me, I don't have any interest in it, in the sense that they're both adults and can do what they want. Um, where I had an issue with these other guys, because these are 18, 19 year old girls, they're naive, um, and quite simply, he promised stuff that he had no intention of doing. He was just using them, and that's why, like I said, he had because he showed me he had already been somewhere, and he had another two. There was one in Talisa, and there was somebody further. I think it was Naga or Kaka. But the point is, that was what he's doing for that day, and that's why I had an issue with it. Um, the whole point is be honest, be open and honest, and nobody can grumble with that then. Because at least you've said you said your piece, people know where you're coming from and will fully understand if you, you turn around and say, I'm not interested in getting married to anybody. It's not you, it's not me, it's quite simply, it ain't happening. Um, but I am interested in a long-term relationship or I'm just looking for somebody to hang around with. I can't guarantee that we'll develop into a relationship, we'll just see how it goes. The whole point is you just give honest communication and you do that. That goes a long way. Filipinas, the majority of Filipinas I know are very easy going. And uh, they'll quite happily accommodate a lot of things. Um, especially if they know the relationship's genuine. Because at the end of the day, they're looking for somebody they can spend their time with and be with, etc. And maybe the marriage isn't there. But there's a lot of Filipino guys I know that have got girlfriends and kids. They are not married. And they may have three kids with the same girl. So the point is, although it's a Catholic country, be aware that not everybody gets married. Be aware that some of these people quite simply just have a relationship and just go through the motions of life. It wasn't long ago that to get baptized, they had to give, I think it was the birth certificate, um, because people weren't registering the births of children. A lot of people, because they have to pay to register the birth, they just didn't bother. So the church was then told that they, to get somebody baptised, they had to show the document um, because they, they needed to know how many people were in the country because a lot of people simply weren't registered. And, and from the, the birth certificates that I've seen, they seem to have a lot of spelling mistakes and stuff as well, and even the months and dates are all completely wrong sometimes. Um, but the point being is, if the system is that open to being wrong, then don't worry about it. A guy can quite simply move there and just meet meet women and see how you go. Now, do you probably notice I'm not promoting bed hopping and stuff because I'm not a fan of that anyway. Um, 
but at the same time, I'm not going to police it, but I'm not going to promote it either. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.